Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Cole Zarek. Welcome to the channel. Today we are going to talk about how to EQ your main vocals on a rap song. I'm going to show you all the things I've learned that I've accumulated. I'll share a couple secrets I have with you guys. And if you end up learning something, if you uh, feel this video was helpful, uh, please leave a like and subscribe. And uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. This is a snippet from a song that I just put out called One Step Ahead. I'm going to go ahead and dissect the main rap vocals, uh, what, why I feel like they are successful. Um, we'll get into all the extra um, uh, plugins we use to make the sample mesh well with what we got going on. What I'm going to basically go through in this video is I'm going to show you guys the main rap vocals. We'll listen to it with the beat, without the beat, with the plugins, without the plugins. Um, we'll take a look at the EQ that I will, I'll show you this shape and how it kind of is a reoccurring shape in the EQs that I do. But it's, it's going to vary on what beat uh, you're applying your vocals to. So we'll get into that more. For now, let's just take a listen at the beat. Let's take a listen to the beat and um, to the main rap vocals, and we'll see what we'll do with them. Step ahead, one step ahead, one step ahead. Yeah, no, yeah. I got some free time like I'm Google. Uh, I don't spend my money cause I'm frugal. Yeah, yeah. I listen to seen Amiibo that I like. Yeah, you make it that cause I got Amazon Prime, Prime, Prime. Spend this. All right, so this is a snippet from a song that I just put out one step ahead. Um, these are the raw vocals from it with all the plugins enabled. So let's take a listen. Yeah, uh, man, I got some free time like I'm Google. Uh, I don't spend my money because I'm frugal. Yeah, I listen to seen Amiibo that I like. Yeah, make it that because I got Amazon Prime, Prime, Prime. All right, Amazon Prime. So let's take a listen to the difference it makes when we turn off everything that we're working with, the compressor, the EQ, the tape delay, and the uh, reverb. So let's just listen to how that changes yeah. things. Yeah, uh, man, I got some free time like I'm Google. Uh, I don't spend my money cause I'm frugal, yeah. Let's stop right there, let's take a listen to it with the beat and see how that changes the dynamic. One step ahead, one step yeah. uh, man, I got some free time like I'm Google. Uh, I don't spend my money cause I'm frugal. It kind of sounds like it's not supposed to be there. Like there's a better way for it to be there. Um, a better way, a better place for it. So let's find a better place for it. Um, using our EQ, our compressor, our tape delay, our reverb. These are all different tools to help you find where the vocals settle and fit into the sound waves, into the beat that you have behind it. So first let's take a look at our EQ. Something I think is important to note is that it takes a lot of practice to train your ear to be able to hear w the different nuances of what sounds good and what sounds bad um, when you're mixing vocals. All right, so here is our EQ. Just as a rule of thumb, cut all the bass below 40 hertz. These are all sounds that cannot be heard by human ears so there's no point in having them there all they really do is muddy up the rest of the track i have boosted the natural bass of the voice to give it like some some baritone bassy um volume and kind of gravitas you'll find the most natural basses are around 100 so over here and over here this is a nice middle ground to find that natural kind of resin uh, for a voice. Um, I have also turned up the highs, but cut the very tips of the highs. The highs are gonna create this like very, all the S's and the very s s higher frequency sounds that your voice is making, that sure voice is making, all those sounds are gonna be picked up if you turn up the high frequency even more. I think I can just give you guys a quick example. If, if I, I turn, turn this on, then, then you can, can hear my stuff. stuff. If, if I turn, turn the highs, the S's, S's this, this is the type of really, really ugly voice. voice. <clears throat> when, when you, you turn, turn the highs up, 
I'm gonna, gonna turn, turn this stupid thing off. off. When you turn the highs up on the raw vocal, it makes it a little bit easier to understand. It kind of brightens up the sound and the voice. This dot right here, it'll usually vary um, on the tracks that I do. Usually I'll just move it around slightly, I'll dip in it, I'll widen it. Um, but as a rule of thumb, I usually have this reoccurring shape in most of my mixes. So one thing I will say about EQ is if you want to get better at it, it's something that you practice every day. It's like weightlifting or sports is you practice every single day if you want to get better, if you want to have a stronger sense of hearing. If you want to train your ear, you have to apply yourself daily and listen to examples like this, like this video. Go on YouTube and look up tutorials or go and listen to how people have interpreted uh, the raw vocal and see how they have mixed it. What is their shape that they usually go with and what shape do you usually go with? Um, that usually helps you identify um, your own interpretation of a good mix. So the other components that you can find in a good mix is a solid compressor. I recommend going into the voice presets they even have a rap vocal. Um, but going in and messing around and trying to find something that works by tweaking uh, a plugin that already exists. Another way is your tape delay, which creates like a delay, like a repeating delay in the voice. If I turn it off and li we listen. Yeah, no, man, I got some free time. But if I turn it on and you can hear the delay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, man, I got some free time like I'm Google. Uh. You can hear it replaying what is being said in the raw vocals. This is more or less to uh, it's a, use this very sparingly. It's a very subtle way of filling space and creating a more fuller sound in the vocal, in the main vocal. Another way of barely just sprinkling in a little bit of reverb so that I don't spend my money because I'm frugal. Yeah. You get some echo in the voice as well, and that does a lot to create some volume and uh, helps it sit better within the beat. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a lot about EQ. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. If you have any suggestions of what you want to learn next, or if you just want to communicate that this video was helpful to you, I read all your guys' comments and I really appreciate it. Um, so that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.